Ready? Mailbag! <laughs> oh, I hope it's not fragile. Mailbag. Uh, this one comes from uh, Brooklyn, New York. No name. It's it, just an address. It does say two tested. And got our, the first time got our zip code wrong? It looks Nine like it's four, right. One, it's right. And it rewrote it again. Someone else rewrote it because they couldn't read this. But he got it right the first time. Okay. I'm not sure. The package is a little damaged in the back. I feel okay about where we're so going. So what that means is we don't need the knife. Okay, well, go ahead and cut it anyway. You can tear it open if you want. Oh, I found the letter. Too tested. The don't read this out loud part. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, the read out loud part. Hello, tested. This is member Poissonnier from Belgium. I've been a longtime fan of Tested. It's helped me learn that I'm not just a nerd, but in the first place, I'm a maker. I've been making stuff my whole life, going from building a one-to-one -one scale F-16 cockpit to play flight sims when I was 16, to building my own sofa because I could not find one I liked. I've been riding street-style BMX for more than 30 years and still riding. I also learned to build skate parks and ended up designing these parks all over Belgium, going from $100 for a few to doing big concrete parks with a price tag of over a million dollars. Enunciate. Five years ago, it's a really long letter. Um, oh, I know what this is. This looks Here is the looks gift made by right. some of the best makers in the world. Beer! <gasps> NR1 <laughs> is my all-time favorite, Delirium Cremens. It's an amber-colored beer that won numerous gold medals all over the world and has a very complex taste. I have drunk this there. My One of my favorite beer bars in San Francisco has this on draft fairly regularly. And it is dangerous, but delightful. Strong beer. I think we got two bottles. So we have that. three That's, bottles, I think. This is one. So this is bottle, this is NR1. That's the, the Wow, these beer. are different than what they sell here. And this is three, and I presume... Oh, okay, so then two is the third one. Okay. So NR2 is a new beer from my local brewery called Omer. O-M-E-R. It was developed with the University of Ghent to brew the best possible traditional blonde beer possible. That sounds good. They use hops from three different countries. NR3... Whoa. That's a cool bottle. That's a really cool bottle. ...is the holy grail of beer. It is the West Vleteren 12. Plain and simple, it's the best beer in the world. That's a big, bold statement. Very bold. Although he um, is Belgium. But yeah, so. I mean, Belgians do know beer. They do I mean, know if beer. You, if you're going to go to Belgium, eat a lot of chocolate, drink a lot of barley wine and beer. Mm -hmm. well, it's Belgium, Belgium's a low country, right? Go to a monastery. Yeah. Um, the Trappist some, monks are there, right? Have That's some, not hard at all. Have some mussels. Really? Mussels? Are mussels and frites a Belgian thing? Aren't they? I thought that was Dutch. Uh, We're culture. American. Um... So here's the thing, uh, the beer is even hard to buy in Belgium. It's made in very limited supply in a monastery by Trappist monks who sell just enough to live from. The only way to order it is to phone them and you get a waiting tone all the time. If you're lucky, about once a month, they pick up the phone and ask you for your car license plate number. After you give it, they say a date and a time and hang up as in 13 May at 935. At that time and date, you ride up to their gate. They see your number plate. They open the gate for you to drive in 20 feet. You give 40 euros, and they open your trunk and put a crate of 24 bottles in, and you drive off. Very happy. Go to eBay. You will see that empty bottles will cost more than what they ask for a full 24-bottle crate. Enjoy them and rate them during a podcast. You're still entitled, but don't drink and drive because all three of you are very all three are very strong. Um, he says to make sure they're chilled for two days first. They're about so 10%. we will not. We're not going to. We're not going to drink them right now. Obviously, no, definitely not. The delirium. If, if this is the low part, the Delirium Tremens, which is a favorite of mine, okay. we are in for a treat when we drink these. My goodness. So, thank My goodness. you. Thank you so much. He, uh, uh, Peter is his name. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, Joey's making grabby hands. <laughs> Be gentle. We will. <laughs> well, never mind. We'll see you next time. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks a lot. Thanks.